Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger, KF Rig, Suicidal, and I'm going to go check on my disk space before we get recording. Let's see, how are we doing? I have 110 gigs free, we're good, let's go. So I'm a junior leader in MapleStory, which sounds so stupid. Um, Safety's off. So I always just call myself administrative when I'm talking to other people who don't know about MapleStory. Because, like, the lingo in the game is junior. The lingo to other people is administrative. Um, it's it's kind of like the equivalent of, like, an assistant manager somewhere. If you were to think about just the roles, not necessarily the responsibilities that you have. Because um, I don't want to equate, like, being the junior leader or, or, or being the, uh, the assistant manager in some, like, office workspace. To be as stressful or difficult a job as being an assistant manager, so to speak, in a, in a Maple Story Guild, but I also kind of do, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, a lot of people underestimate what goes into managing a guild in a game. They'll be like, "It's just a, it's just a game. Like, it's just a, you're taking it too seriously." And I think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people go too far by having like, like there's some guilds where you'll get like written up. <laughs> For like breaking rules and stuff, and I'm like, I don't know, just like talk to them. You know, like three strikes and you're out, and it's like the super strict like workplace sort of thing, right? Um, and if you're into that, by all means, I'm not gonna judge you for it. Um, not really for me, um, but at the same time, we do have to have some rules and we do have to have some um, restrictions on what people can do because. As a guild, we want to maintain an image that is friendly and respectable. Um, right, like that's what we want. We don't like there are a lot of things in, uh, in guilds. We don't really care about being seen as like, you know, a guild where like prestige isn't really a thing that we're necessarily after. I mean, if we get it, sure, but it's it's not really like a goal of ours, right? Uh, renown, you know, all these kinds of things. They're a little bit outside what we're aiming for as a guild, but what we do want is to have a healthy, respectful image of our guild where people who see us and see Hibiscus as uh, the guild I'm in, um, where people who see our guild out in the wild are going to be like, those are nice people. Right? Or at the very least, we don't want people seeing Hibiscus and being like, Ah, that's that guild that does this, you know? That does that thing, you know? They, uh, they harass people, they KS people, they, uh... They're lazy, they don't commit, they beg for carries, you know, whatever, right? All these things that, uh, are negative. We don't want people seeing our guild and thinking that about our members. Because that's not what we, as leaders, are. And we don't want to, like, contribute to that kind of, like, negativity, right? Um, so when we're, when we're running the guild, we have to have rules and regulations and restrictions and stuff on what people can do to make sure that we maintain that image. Um, and like to do that, we have like, a um, 15,000 contribution points per week rule that we have. If you don't meet it, then we're going to have to talk to you about it and like see what's going on. Um, you can get 5,000 per day. It takes like five minutes it's not a big ask to get 15,000 a week that's like three weeks you go and cap with us it's really not a big deal um, you can do it by yourself too it's faster if you do it with party members um, but you can do it by yourself too it's, it's, it's really it's not like a big ask um, if you can't meet that then I'm then it's just kind of like well you're really just not kind of putting in the time for the guild so um, we don't really need you anyway uh, and, you know, and obviously people have like things going on in their lives, and if that's happening, then people can talk to us and be like, Hey, I just like, I really don't have the time right now. Um, this is happening, that's happening, whatever, I don't want to talk about it, who cares? Like, I don't have the time for it, let us know, that's fine. But when people are just like, not doing it, and they're not being responsive, and they're not telling us what's going on, then it's kind of like, yeah, we're gonna have to, to ask you, like, what's up, right? To make sure that we can, uh, continue to grow as a guild, and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, get those guild skills that we want, and, um, and, uh, build that image that we want. If people are being, like, breaking the terms of service of the game, or, like, doing something that is perceived as disrespectful, or, you know, harassing people or whatever, we have to talk to them about it. Because, again, that's not, 
um, like, part of the image that we want to build for Hibiscus. And you might be like, well, why does the image matter that much? Because, like, that's what we recruit people into the guild based on, right? Like, people join the guild and they're like, ah, yeah, this is a fun community. I like being a part of this. So when we don't work to maintain that image and, and don't work to maintain that sort of, like, community and that, um... My voice is, like, really going. My throat's, like, killing me right now. I'm not used to talking this much. Um, so when, when people are not contributing to the to the guild that we want to be building, then other members are going to feel like they're not getting what they want out of the guild, and they're going to leave, and then we're left with a member we don't really like so much. Uh... And the member who we did like, who was interested in the guild that we want, and, and it is, you know, synonymous with how we want our guild to be, is now gone and in a different guild, and it kind of, like, is counterproductive. So we have to maintain that. We have to do that. Um, both for ourselves, to be able to build a guild full of people that we like and are happy to be a part of a guild with, uh, and also for the people who are in the guild, who are who are trusting us to, to maintain that um, that community for them. Because they don't have any power. And they want to, to be a part of that community. So, there is a certain sense of responsibility. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of funny, too, because... There are a lot of parallels with, like, typical jobs. Um, right? Like, if, you, if you're an assistant manager somewhere or something like that, like, you probably had to sit down your staff and, and talk about uh, harassment or... Or, um, you know, something like that. Or you might have had to talk about, like, them misbehaving on social media or something like that and like these are all things that we have to do too right and again i don't want to like just completely equate like being a manager at like a real job with being a manager in like a guild they're not really the same degree of, of difficulty but there are parallels and um those situations aren't super comfortable for um for anybody involved whether you're working at a job or in a guild um, not that it's really work for me, I don't see it as work, I just do it because I like it, and I like being a part of the guild, and I like the people in it, but that's the point, right? Is I'm building a community that I like, and I have to work to maintain that. So a lot of people think that, uh, that like, guild leaders or guild masters or whatever get, like, high and mighty, um, because they're guild masters, and, and they think that, like, it's, like, a, a point of pride, but, like, honestly, if you're running a guild that's, like, actually got renown and actually has like um prestige and you know all these things like that it's actually good and like known and you know whatnot like that's not easy it, it, it doesn't just happen because you like came into it and we're like yeah hey, it's just a guild i'll just let it kind of do whatever it wants no you have to like put in the time to to maintain that that uh, that community that you want to maintain, it has to be done. The time has to be invested, and uh, you can't you can't get there without it. And uh, so it's it's kind of like the same people who will like join a guild and be like, I like this guild. You guys are fun. Will be like, uh, I don't know why people are always like uh, making a big deal out of being a guild master. I'm like, well, the only reason you like this guild is because other people are putting in time to to maintain it as a safe and. and you know, kind of responsible, respectful place. The only reason people aren't being rude is because all the people who do get removed and, and talks to and, and problems get resolved. And, and that's on, you know, me and the other uh, leaders in the guild. So it's, uh, there is a certain sense of responsibility. Again, I don't want to equate it to being like a, a real manager at a real job. It's not the same at all. Um, it like, at our level, it, it barely takes up any more time than just, like, playing the game. <laughs> you know? Like, it's just... Well, it does take up a fair bit more time. We have, uh, one of our members makes, like, a, a list of all the contributions that people have. Like, I can show you. Um, like, if you go through here, um, this is the contribution. You can get 5,000 per day. These three people have capped every day since the start. This dude's missed two. This guy's missed a few. He's been gone for a while. We're very concerned. Um, you know, so all these people down here 
who were like seven or more days ago and and no contribution seven or more days and like no real contribution um you know five days and no real contribution these are people who were kind of like keeping in the back of our head right like you're not active you're not doing anything when you are active like what's kind of going on uh typically like some of these people are like have told us that they're going to be away for a while so like it's fine right but like you know this this contribution stuff is important um anyway um i forget what i was talking about but yeah you gotta kind of put in the time to to maintain it is is kind of what it boils down to is uh it doesn't just come naturally um oh right right yeah so the contributions we have one of our members who goes through and tallies up everybody in the guild how much contribution they have on uh, on their characters um and like every week we'll tally it up and see how much contribution everybody's gotten uh in that week and then people who don't get at least fifteen thousand, we talk to um and that takes like a fair bit of time every week out of his day um we also have like an administrative uh, like an admin channel in the discord that we talk in uh from time to time about uh people who might be doing things that we don't necessarily agree with how do we feel about this do we want to do this do we want to run this event do we want to do this you know all these kinds of things that we're kind of trying to trying to work on to uh again just create this atmosphere that that people like you know like it doesn't just come naturally you have to create it and uh We've done a pretty good job of making a fun place. If, you, if you're playing Maple Story, um, if you play like 100%, um, I'll, I'll show you again. This is my character name right down here. I'm in Reboot. Okay, this is my character. Uh, my other character that I play on is um, where are you? Here. Okay, if you play Reboot, I'm being completely sincere. Just join this guild. <laughs> uh, I don't. I'd be surprised if any of you play Maple Story. Um, but if any of you do, like, for real, just do it. I'm in it. Don't I? You know, at the same time, don't make. It's, it's not like a, a YouTuber guild, okay? Don't make it. Don't make it like that kind of a thing. It's just a fun place to be. But um, you know, join it. It's a. It's a good guild. It's a fun place. We got uh, some pretty powerful people in there. We're running... We're getting up to Lucid soon, I think. Hopefully, anyway. My party is, anyway. Um, I'm going to be carrying Lotus and Damien soon, too, which is fun. Um, yeah, we got we got, uh, we got got stuff happening, which is cool. Uh, anyway, if you play, join, please. I would I would love to have some uh, some people more people I want we, we just we just in general we want more people you gotta be fun and you gotta be like uh, gay <laughs> you don't really have to be gay but if you are then it's a plus um I mean it's always a plus isn't it being gay like what you know has, has any gay person ever been like man being gay it's so bad no of course not of course not it's like it's so much better than being straight. I'm being mostly facetious. Um, of course. Obviously, I know that gay people have faced a lot of discrimination and still do. But at the same time, they are better than straight people, is all I'm saying. <clears throat> yeah. Throat's a little bit itchy, sore. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I just I, I find it kind of fun to, to draw those parallels with, uh, with people who might be working in a normal job and being like, ah, we had to sit down this person today and... Uh, and talk about this problem that they've been uh, exhibiting and I'm like oh yeah we had to do that too it's just kind of it's kind of funny for me anyway to draw those to draw those parallels because it's a real thing and a lot of people underestimate me I get like friends too all the time being like oh you're like don't call yourself a guild leader I'm like but I I'm I, I am a, a guild you know like junior leader anyway like I was, I was one of the founding members of this guild like I, I have a significant say in in the future of the guild <laughs> like I'm not a nobody within the context of the guild I'm not a nobody within the context of like everything um, I'm I'm not I'm, I'm like I wouldn't say I'm a somebody but I'm like an s you know what I mean in uh, in more ways than one I uh, I, have, I have I have I have some influence over people 
Especially within the context of the guild. I my uh, my voice has a significant uh, say in the uh, in the guild because I was a founding member. I'm a you know junior leader. I'm uh, I'm a person in the guild. So you know, why why wouldn't I be be proud of creating this uh, environment? I mean, I didn't do it by myself, like at all. I'm I'm one of like five juniors, I think, and then we also have the leader. So, like, it wasn't done by me entirely at all. I did a lot of it. Um, I managed the, the Discord and, and uh, a few other things, but, like, I definitely didn't do all of it. Not even close. Um, but, like, why wouldn't, I, why wouldn't I be proud of being a part of that, right? Why wouldn't I be like, heck yeah, like, I made this place. I managed this place, to a certain extent, anyway. I, I you know, I, I managed this place maybe a little bit over speaking it, but I, I like, um, I, I am one of the managers of the place, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know how to say it in a way that doesn't, like, overstate my responsibility. But, like, I don't know. It feels, it feels good to, to, I mean, I talked about it in the last episode, you know, like, I, I, a little, a little bit less pronounced, perhaps, within the guild context. But even the guild is like, you know, hey. I made this, sort of. Um, other people are involved. Again, I'm just, I'm kind of... God, my throat's really killing me. We're not going to be able to do a full episode. <laughs> um, you know, I made this with other people as well. But, you know, we, we made this. Why, why would we not be proud of it? I guess I can just say we. I don't know why I've been avoiding that word for so much. I'm trying to think of a way to be like, how do I say this? It doesn't sound like I think I did it all. Because I don't think I did it all. But there, there, there's just a fantastic word you can just say we. Um, you know, we did this. Why wouldn't we be proud of it, right? Like, why, why wouldn't we feel that it's a point of pride? And uh, you know, people are like saying that we, they like the guild, and it's like, yeah, we made it, and people like it, and that's like awesome, right? Like, why wouldn't that be a, a point of pride for us? You know, obviously, it's not a major part of our life. In the future, it might be. I don't know. Like, if we get to to the point where we have that renown and where we have that prestige and uh, where people know about us and, and like us and, and uh, kind of admire us as a, as a guild, um, then may maybe it would be a significant part of our lives, you know? Like, we made that and, and people really, really respect it. You know, like, we made a community where just being a part of it gives you some kind of um, leg up on other people, you know? At that point, there you got to kind of like worry about other things too, where like you know you don't want your, your your players being arrogant and like you know mean to other people just because they're a part of Hibiscus and you're not. You know, like you don't want to be a part of that. But that's like forever in the future, and I don't think our members are really going to be doing that anyway. Money, anyone? That's not really the community that we're trying to foster. Um, but anyway, I just I I think it's cool how um, even in just like a little game, just taking on a, a point of leadership still gives you real practical experience not something that you'd ever be able to go to a job and be like yes i managed to kill the maple story so i am the perfect fit for your assistant manager role um but it does let you kind of understand to a certain extent what people go through when they when they have these positions in in more professional environments because like you have to deal with these things and they're there and they're problems and you have to think and come up with a solution and you have to do it in a way that doesn't piss everybody off and it's like there's always this awkwardness when you're talking to people being like hey so like we really don't want you doing that are you gonna be able to stop or you know or is this gonna be like a you know just kind of we just we need you to stop with that if you don't want it then we're, we're just not really gonna be able to keep you in the guild and it's kind of like this awkward like kind of back and forth and then you have to be like well i don't want to be awkward so i'm just gonna have to be like professional about it and you end up having this like weird professional persona and i'm like it's just a game but like you have to maintain this, and I don't know. It's uh, it's a weird thing to think about. I think at times. So, anyway, that's gonna do it for today. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.